So that is where my passion uh, for work and research uh, lies. And I have been working on it since, um, since actually since my undergrad in Mexico, uh, back, back in the day, I'm not gonna say the date. Uh, but it, <laughs> everything started there when, uh, when I started realizing that, oh, we have this research is fun, and then we have these numbers, and we have these results, and then we can present. But then the families I was working with really didn't get much benefit from what we were learning based on on their data. So then I started realizing, okay, I I want to make sure that my research findings or my research work is actually helping uh, the people, the communities, and the participants. Um, so I just started realizing that you know what, there is a way to actually do this to bring research findings into the community, into real world settings, uh, in a systematic way that you can actually study. Prior to this training, I honestly didn't know what implementation science was. But in the course of the training, it was really helpful to understand how implementation science can be helpful for scholars to assist institutions in um, understanding um, ways that they can um, improve the provision of health services for communities in need in a systematic way and how we can also replicate approaches that are effective for certain communities to improve health care um, utilization. Making sure that we're not just repeating the same old research to show that, for example, black patients receive less X care compared to white patients, but really pushing the envelope to say, hey, we have these programs, we have these policies, these structures in place that can actually reduce those disparities. So how can we actually implement that equitably across a health system? A great benefit of implementation science is that we're skipping that usual 10 to 20 year gap between discovery and implementation into regular daily life. We're shortening that time and we have to because there is a crisis um, in America and uh, across the world where people, um, particularly of color, are treated differently and don't have the same access to care, don't have the same opportunities. It's more, it's not enough for me to say, yeah, I've developed something, I've shown something works. That's the traditional research format, great. And just hope for someone in the world to take on to it so they can get it out to someone. No, I really want to take this from start to finish and finish is truly getting it in patients' hands to see what really works. Because the ultimate goal is not to develop an app. The ultimate goal is to improve patient care outcomes.